What do the Japanese think of Filipino food? Today we bring our Japanese friends Kenji and Chisato Fujimura for their take on Filipino food. You may not know this, but most Japanese have not tried Filipino food or will even consider visiting the Philippines because it is considered in their minds to be a dangerous country with kidnappings, murders, and terrorists. Those that do come to the Philippines are the salaried Japanese businessmen who are working for Japanese companies. And for the few that do take a leap of faith to visit our beach destinations, they do not really have a clue what Filipino food is really about. We ordered some of our favorites for our friends to try at Mesa Filipino Modern, which is one of the fastest growing Filipino restaurant chains in the Philippines, with 17 branches under the restaurant umbrella empire of Enrico Ricky D, CEO and owner of Foodlink. Foodlink includes brands such as Inihao Express, Chins Express, La Mesa, Cerveceria, Kai, Todd English Food All, and the Michelin star Hong Kong franchise of Tim Ho Wan. Swahe on the rocks. We're at Mesa, one of our favorite Filipino restaurants in Manila, which we just discovered last year. But we have two of our very good friends from Japan in town, Kenji Fujimura and his lovely wife Chisato. Welcome Hello. back, guys. Hello. How do you like the food so far? This burger is very tasty. It goes well with the, uh, the rice. What was your favorite thus far? You had a little bit of that adobong posit. Yeah, the adobo posit, the scallops, and actually just what is it, the beef. Nilagang baka. Yeah. All, all, all goes really well with the rice, and you know, I guess Japanese love rice too, so I guess it kind of makes us kind of like you know. I feel like it's kind of Japanese food at the same time. I just enjoy it. How do you compare Filipino food to Japanese food? Do you know how it works? Well, there's no raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think Japanese food uses less salt. It's less saltier than the one in the Philippines, but I guess that, I guess in the Philippines you sweat a lot, so I think you need to have like salty food, but it's just less salty. Mm -hmm. And less spicier too, Japan. What do we have? It looks like a green mango shake. Yeah. Do you get green mango shakes in Japan? No, you don't get mango in Japan at all. I mean, you do import it once, but... <laughs> oh, look what just arrived. We got uh, shrimp on the rocks. One of their specialty dishes here at Mesa. So much. You're eating so much. You want to put it there or...? Chisato, what does Brina have to say about the food? What does she hey, like so she far? She keeps eating this... Uh, she uh, loves the squid ink. Squid, squid, yeah. And what is your favorite so far? Oishi? 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 Ah, she dropped and said, ah, but... Oishi, ne? Oishi, hito. Raise your hand, take it. Hi. And what's your favorite so far, Chisato? Uh, I haven't, I only tried the, the scallops. The scallops, but it's very, very tasty. Good to hear. What about you, babe? What are you enjoying so far? Everything. Now, you like mbaka. So this is actually the second branch of Mesa we've eaten at, but I'm so surprised that the quality of the food is exactly the same as the first time I tried it, so pretty happy with that. She's shy. Gangnam Wings is the latest Korean fried chicken concept in the metro, opened by Rinki Tuanyo and Korean chef Jung Chung Yael at the SM Mega Mall in 2017. The specialty is authentic Korean double fried chicken served in four flavors, crispy, sweet, spicy and sweet, and soya. They had a press launch event on August 18, 2017, which we were privileged enough to be invited to. On the agenda, the Lord